I'm Andy, the National Couture. I'm Stefan Bonner. This is Kendall, the Spider Grove. I'm Cara Prezen. This is Brandon Truth Vera. Hey, I'm Ariane Celeste. Yeah, I'm Chuck Dunn. I'm Forrest Griffin. I am Fyodor. You are watching MMA Facts. With the words, he's got a better chance of getting me pregnant. This man became a rock star in the MMA world. Junie Browning, how are you, my friend? Pretty good, pretty good. How are you? Did you ever expect to have such an impact on the Ultimate Fighter? Not for the best reasons, but, <laughs> you know, I guess an, any impact is better than none. Almost every single fighter that I talk to that gets a lot of TV time on the Ultimate Fighter always complains a little bit about how they edit the show. In fact, anyone on reality TV says the way they edit it isn't exactly a, a fair portrayal of who I am as a person. Would you say that's true about you, or are we seeing the real Junie Browning on the Ultimate Fighter? Um, no, that's not the real Junie Browning whatsoever, and I'm not blaming the show. To be honest with you, I think they made me look more sane than I really am. Wow, really? Because you go from fighting to crying to throwing glass at people to almost getting kicked off the show to jumping over the octagon. I mean, you've got more lives than anyone that I've ever seen on that reality show. You know, to be honest with you, when I was watching the show, I, w I was surprised they didn't kick me off. Uh, you know, because half the stuff I was drunk, I didn't remember. But uh, I think Dana sees something, saw something in me that, you know... Uh, you don't see in a lot of the other fighters. Speaking of taking training seriously, I was uh, on Sean Tompkins' Facebook page the other day, and it said, Junie Browning has moved into the house. We're going to make a new champ. That is the right dude to align yourself with. How did you actually come to that decision, though? Um, actually, uh, the management company I signed with, um, Denaro Sports, so they, uh, you know, I told them I was really wanting to up my training and stuff after I got off the show, so they hooked me up with Sean, and, uh, you know, surprisingly, I, uh, you know, I figured no trainer would want to pick me up after the show, but Sean was actually more than happy to. You're a ratings machine for the Ultimate Fighter. Uh, does, does that add pressure to your fight game, I mean, when you're actually preparing for a fight? Because people do get more excited when there's a bit of a storyline involved. Yeah. Do, do you feel like that, that there's more eyes on you and that affects your training at all? It just motivates me even more. You know what I mean? Let your haters be your motivators. I mean, if it wasn't for that, uh, I don't think I'd be out here trying to back up my shit talkings. Dana White allowed you to stay on the show. He had multiple reasons, I would say, to kick you off, but he didn't. Do you think that he was, in some ways, disrespecting his own brand by keeping you on the show because he knew that you were such a ratings machine? Or do you think it was because he saw so much promise in your ability? I don't think it was necessarily because of ratings. I mean, I'm not, I'm, I'm sure, you know, it, it didn't hurt his decision that it was going to help out ratings because everyone else in the house is boring and wants to sit around on the couch and talk about the economy and politics and stuff, and no one wants to watch that. But I think he also saw that, you know, that I had some talent. I think uh, he realized, you know, I, was, I had the most potential out of everyone in the entire house. There's a lot of guys in the house that you had problems with, but who's the one guy that if he was standing here right now in front of us, you'd want to punch in the face today? I think everyone knows the answer to that one. Uh, Efren, big time. Are you happy with your performance overall on the program? There's always room for improvement and growth, and that's why I'm out here it's getting better. Every time I fight, you'll see the new improved one, I promise. What's one thing that you've improved the most about your fight game? I'm working on my cardio more than anything, and uh, you know, my technique as always. Love this guy's personality, man. Junie, it's a pleasure to talk to you. Uh, best of luck in your training, and we're very happy to see that you're linked up here at Extreme Couture with Sean Tompkins. I appreciate you, man. I'm Dave Farah. Thanks for watching the MMA Fix.